Hello everyone, this is Tony. Welcome back to Trophy Food Experiences. Today I'm doing a review of the Wicked Spoon Buffet, which is inside the Cosmopolitan Hotel. It's in the Chelsea Tower on level two. And so this buffet goes on every day, um, I think Monday to Friday, 8 to 3 p.m. and then Saturday, Sunday, 9 to 4 p.m. But the pricing, we were there in the holiday season, so the pricing was uh, $59 for adults. Um, I think in a regular day, it might be like 47 and then on Saturdays and Sundays, a little bit more, um, probably, I think, 54 uh, but during the holidays, it's a little bit more expensive. We were there fairly early, around, I think, 10 or 10.30 a.m. Once you get to about 11 o'clock, there is quite a substantial lineup that happens, so I try and get there early, and there is a 90-minute time limit for your meal. It is considered a high-end buffet, and so I tried to focus on kind of higher-end items and to stay away from the carbs that would weigh me down a bit. Um, I will, in the comment section, have a link to the menu, and uh, but these are kind of the common things that I looked at. Um, there was a smoked salmon station, but for some high reason, because it was early in the morning, it hadn't started, so that was kind of disappointing. Um, there was a charcuterie station, and then um, there were some pancakes, which you'll see I've done a little bit later on. And then um, there is a Asian station. Um, there is steam snow crab, which is the big draw. And so I think you should really go to that first. Um, and then some of the other kind of higher end things are like bone marrow, which was nice. They had their wicked fried chicken, which is also nice. So, and of obviously the um, what I've got shown here, the ham and the lamb. Uh, which was also really nice. So they had a slow roasted beef strip loin and then they had a herb roasted pork loin, roasted chicken. So um, that's all uh, on there. And I guess they had some lamb in this situation also. So this is their uh, Wicked Fried Chicken, which was very nice, a couple of pieces. And so um, I liked the, overall, I liked actually the quality of the food. It was uh, quite nice. It wasn't that crowded, particularly from my perspective. Um, Maybe I was there early, uh, but there seemed to be lots of food, lots of people in terms of switching up food or when it ran out. So um, I thought it was a quite a well-run buffet. So these are some short videos of uh, showing the spread. So you can see this part is kind of the um, appetizer part of area with salads, charcuterie, things like that. Uh, lots of little small plates that you can pick up by yourself. So it's kind of nice. Some nachos, I guess. Or, and then, um, you know, coming here is the more of the meat station. And uh, a little bit more of the entrees that you have. You have sushi, you have Asian bar. And then this is the snow crab, which is a big hit. So. Uh, that's where I would go first. They were good um, and there was plentiful, so it wasn't like they uh, ran out. Uh, they always um, kind of refit, replenish the supply very quickly. Here's a station with some of the, um, I guess, Mexican food. And then the next one is a station with um, the crepes. So someone was making crepes for you and you could either have them with um, some uh, bananas foster or with some uh, kind of strawberry um, compote. So it was really nice to have um, those choices. Short videos showing some of the desserts. You see a multitude of them. Uh, lots of different desserts for you to try, uh, lots of pastries, lots of breads, croissants, cookies, all, you name it all. So um, lots of variety of food for sure and um, very interesting. Um, so actually, I don't think it's a bad deal to get all that type of quality uh, for 90 minutes. You probably won't be able to eat 70 or $80 worth, but um, you know, there's lots of good variety and it's, it's still a nice setting um, and uh, there's some good quality food here. And then you end off with a ice cream uh, bar with uh, lots of ice creams and sorbets. So all in all, I think it's a, quite a nice buffet. I still would recommend it. Um, it is, uh, I think, reasonable value for the money. Um, it's you know not inexpensive, but I think there's quite a nice, good variety of food and the quality is quite good. Um, it's a nice setting, so um, you have to account for that. So I would recommend this buffet. 
Until next time, happy eating.